Welcome back everybody, this is LizMarina300 speaking. I hope all of y'all enjoyed the previous video. I know I enjoyed making it for all of you. And if you support this channel like I hope all of you do, would you please leave me a like? That would be greatly appreciated. Previous video, I think we just went around, did some TCG, I accidentally I did two quests. Had to do a quest because I was bored, and yeah. So, let's jump right into this. Hmm, I wonder if we can do a 10 pull this week. I'd really love to. Probably won't though, because this is only a three hour stream. Welcome to chat. Meanwhile, we are loading in everyone. Hello and welcome. But please do read all the rules. Please do read. Please do read all the rules and follow them to. Okay, I kind of mixed up my words there. Ah, so good. Yeah, we are. Right. Oh, wait. It swung me here. You didn't know. In the last episode, I jumped off this mountain range. Completely just jumped off. 80,000 more. That is definitely needed. And my final day, 200 Primo Gems, three hours remaining, everyone. Hmm, might need to go get the trees. <clears throat> Wait, what does it do for hangout quests? Is it double reward or something? Turning companions, please. Don't know. Um, personal wealth of revelation and ah, so it does double drops. Damn, so many things. And also there are domains as well. Yeah, domains. Okay, do I need anything from domains? So, I don't need to send that character anymore. But I could be useful to go get their ascension materials. This stuff. We can actually go do this today. It's double bonus. We're going to be doing that. Oh, yes. I actually have a, um, a marker down somewhere. I don't really remember where. Wait, it was somewhere in here. Yeah, here we are. We're going here first. We can get to the photo of the video. So basically, if I find a viewpoint, uh, it's like a compromise just in case I don't get a cool shot or something. By the way, three hours only. Unlike my previous, um... <laughs> Sorry, pal. Our bond is strong. We got you, man. Congratulations! Yeah, got her. No escape. Rivet. Ha! Dissipate. so soon. Yeah, got her. Skywards. Yeah. Yeah. Run from dead. 
There we are. Yeah. Got him. Let's go to this point over here. And avoid that guy in the process. Yeah. Skyward. Got him. Skyward. Got him. Yeah. Oh heck yes. Skipping some of the thing. Oh yeah, look for traces of the abyss over there. Yeah. Skyward. Got him. Bro. I just Watch. want this viewpoint, my guy. Our bond is strong. Lightning. Stand with me. Ooh, that actually could be a good one. First things first, I want to be doing that. I can go do this as well. Yes, I can. We can do that one as well. Oh, heck yes. Okay, so I know which two I'm going to. Eh? If you are sanctioned ones, you require them. It's also on Sunday. Okay, so it's these two. Of gold, diligence, gold and prosperity, I think we mean. Yeah, gold and prosperity. Well, let's go! Let's upgrade these talents. This will be the first time I'm doing this domain as well. All thanks to Alex. Oh! Hello! Welcome to the channel. Oh, I'm so happy you're getting the followers. Yes! Welcome! Welcome! You have any questions for the channel, Skyward. newcomer? Got him. Any questions at all? Okay, recommended ice and water. Oh god, it can't be that bad, right? Right! <laughs> They're probably fire elements, right? Oh boy. Any questions about the channel? Nothing. Thank you for the follow. Okay. There's going to be a big wave of two coming now. Is it 
four minutes worthy. Not really. It's actually not that hard. This is the prosperity one to upgrade this guy. Yep, it is. Prosperity. Teaching challenge. Teachings of prosperity as well. So just one more of this one, and then I go to the other one. domain and now do the domain of gold or whatever it's called i'll do this domain again but in gold i'm 
Only a let's try recommended. Oh well. Five minutes of the ship. This will be the final double. And let's see how far I can upgrade my characters. Yeah. 
Be the fourth one. Perfect. Okay, now what I'm wondering is do I have enough of the other boats? <laughs> I got a character. Got to level up that talents. The sun even red. I can get a lot. Yeah, don't want you. Let me save for them. Um, this attack needs to definitely be upgraded. Charge time. Looks like I can't upgrade him anymore anyway. No, no, shield attack. Cost hmm. fifteen percent max HP put down in six seconds. Mm. Mm. Max duration five seconds, charge attack stamina cost. Farming very hmm. that does a lot of healing. Two bit up to two, that's then. Six. Two bit up to two. 
I think that's a boss. Quite literally, I think that's a boss. Because it has like boss dropping things. Damn. Or is that just its regular drops? If so, damn again. Oh, oh. There's a lot of them. That's good. Please appreciate my sincerity. Yeah, Skyward. Please hold for just a moment. Many happy returns. No pain, no gain. Apologies. Our bond is strong. Skyward, scatter. Gray cloud converge. Ho, please hold for just a moment. Yeah, scatter. This is trouble. Out of my way. This was well done. One should invent some form of curial discernment. Mechanism. Okay. There's more. Wow. Oh, and I don't have that waypoint. Did I have that one? Being underwater isn't that bad, to be honest. Killing that cute then. Not a monster, I'd like No. 
that's your weapon. Enhance. What? What? I thought I put this so right in here. Did I know? I don't know to look then. Uh, two of them into them, probably three per one. I have four, five. Four, nine, eight, how many? Six. Let's go to. Oh, there's another one just down the beach. Nice. Stop it. Stand with me. I'll settle this. I won't be considered me. Yeah, scatter skyward. Stray clouds converge. Another person? Thank you for following as well. Absolutely made my day. Wow. <laughs> this has absolutely made my day. Uh, well. Ignorant and vulgar. Yeah. Got him. Skyward. Dissipate. <laughs> Let's go for all. Damn, so many notifications. I can do everything about them because they glow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, now all of this stuff first. Just plus his five levels. Crit, 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 uh, I guess.
There we are. Look at that. That is very cool. Oh yes, this time. All we need is three more, and we'll be doing that one. of the mechanical art. Oh, perfect. Although I don't have the eyes, I'm fine. I'll be fine. It's not like I'll need eyes. And if I do need eyes to get somewhere, I'm just gonna jump over it. Exactly. This. I'll just do that for heals. Can't pause, can't pause, can't pause. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Two people follow. Nothing. Nah. Yeah, I know. Thank you for getting that king. Close the door on the way out and mop it too. Thank you. There we are. Wait, I think I could have just crafted them. Right? No, I couldn't have. We have three. Say he's dead. Please don't say he's dead. Please say he has a little bit of help on me. The more, the merrier. 
that's what we needed. Yes. All right. Now I can level up her weapon. Almost 400. Nice. Mm -hmm. I have this flute weapon which is a tad. This is physical damage bonus. Okay. What's this challenge? Keep the tall planes for the end of the second. Project EM a lot more. Oh, I can even. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we are at this level, so I have time going to seven. Okay. Eighteen, not max level. Is there a max level at all? This site so far. Wait, if I even was to zoom in. Nine needs to be taken away. Seen an MS that broke. Okay, I'm definitely waiting. Max XP would be breached. Okay, I'm definitely waiting until I get a lower thing. Like, yeah, let me just go to keep this in boss real quick. What? Whoa! Thank you for the follow! Um... What are you doing on here? It's not here, right? Great, sun's out! <sighs> About time we had some dry heat. It's been so muggy lately. Yeah, let's just go this way. Skyward! Got her! Yeah, Stray cloud! 
Hostiles converge! Yeah. Skyward! <laughs> Many happy returns! Hey, what gets up? Definitely getting stronger, luckily, and definitely gives me something to level up with. My, uh, the final thing of that. Fully upgraded. One. Up the sense. Max. Yes! Damn. Damn, that's good. Okay, let me first go to Windrise. Three people already followed, and we're not even an hour in. Damn, I'm like astonished. Well, it might just be one person. I don't know. Yeah, skyward. Worth sharing. It's all ancient history by now. What is more in? <clears throat> hmm. I know. Did to hear about your travels to the far-flung corners of the world? What forms do the gods and immortals of other nations take? Are there any of them as amenable to conversation as oneself? Let us brew some tea. And then you can tell me all about it. Okay. Long voice line. Sorry, 
pal. This guy again. Yep, that's a wrap. On this fine day, the view from the heavens must be magnificent. In this era of fair winds and gentle yeah, skyward, scatter. On this fine day, the view from the heavens must be magnificent. Cheese, okay. I'm gonna get like a lot more milk. I'm wondering, is there a place I can find a lot of milk? Sort of general of shops. The secrets of the mechanical. That one should sell, is it? Oh, this one. 
हो गई कि हम ये ऑफिस से बैठे हैं तो वो काम नहीं है वो तो वर्कशॉप आर्ट्स आर टू प्रोफेक्ट या स्काइवर्ड एड एस्ट्रा वो Thank you for the Hello. Oh, nice. Oh, very much. Really I'm astonished. I'm thankful. Abyssosk. No, Thank you for completing finish. today's commissions. Here is your reward. In this era of fair winds and gentle rains, one needs not marsh to drink. No, I have an available one. That's for sleep. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna actually do the clean one, but before I do, shall do this. <laughs> on this fine day, the view. Yeah. Scatter. <laughs> Still a library. So we don't have the sound thing for this one. Shame I only get to listen in from the other side of the window and don't get to join in the debate. I'd love to give my two cents. Say what? What's up? What's up? Paimon wants in! Recently, all the customers at the tavern have been debating the exact same topic. Who is the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? The yep. strongest fighter? <laughs> hmm. Must be someone who can floor a whole gang of hilly churls with just one punch! Then Paimon nominates you. But anyway, is there like the general agreement in the city on who it is, or? 
<laughs> expecting people to come to a swift and straightforward consensus in the City of Freedom is like expecting fishermen's toast to drop out of the sky. Everyone's got their own opinion, backed up by a unique set of cherry-picked information. But let's be honest, that's what makes the discussion so impassioned and entertaining. Mainstream opinion is polarized, with most people supporting one of two candidates. One is the Dandelion Knight, the other is the Dark Knight Hero. Oh, oh, Paimon votes for you! But let's go into the tavern and talk to the patrons. Maybe we'll pick up some juicy gossip. Oh, mm. I do envy your life of leisure. But don't mind me, of course. <sighs> I guess I'll just get back to work. Here, try to act one. What'll it be today? The strongest fighter. I don't pay much attention to that sort of thing. Huh. Paimon thought bartenders had some kind of special information sources. Mm -hmm. Exactly! That's what Paimon was getting at! <laughs> I have no involvement in any intelligence gathering operation. But if you made me pick someone, it would be the Dark Knight hero. I've heard some stories about him. Apparently, he once rescued a city dweller from the Abyss Order. There it is! The barman's top secret intelligence! Speaking of the Abyss Order, their minions are really stirring up trouble all over the place, aren't they? Well, they are. Oh, wait, this guy's drunk. Hi! <laughs> are you here to try Mondstadt's famous wine, too? Uh, that would be Gene, obviously. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Grandmaster Gene is so strong. She can take out a ruin guard with just a few slashes of her sword. <clears throat> and she could wipe out the three hilly trill tribes at Dada Upa Gorge all by herself. Otherwise. We wouldn't have such a carefree existence with nothing to do. It's true that Jean makes people feel they're in safe hands. Meanwhile, this guy is drunk as a skunk. Hey, I'm doing some adventurers training. Alcohol tolerance training, to be precise. Want to join Seriously? me? You want to know who I think the toughest fighter is? In my opinion, that would be the finest adventurer of them all. Stanley! Guildmaster Cyrus is up there with the toughest, too. But only Stanley can take on the bloodthirsty beasts of the Mer Javari. Bloodthirsty beasts of the Mer Javari? Do you think you'd be scared if you were faced with one of those? Yeah! Bam! Wham! Pow! We shall. Hey, amigo. Do you want to hear my latest composition? Hey, I put my whole heart into it, and also my soul. How about it, amigo? Amiga. Uh, <clears throat> huh? The most macho in Mondstadt. She's a little girlie who wears red. That's right. I found this out one day about half a month ago, when I went up to the Stormbear Mountains looking for inspiration for my new song. Guess what happened? What happened? I witnessed the most powerful destructive force I have ever seen in my life. I'm telling you, it completely changed the whole landscape in that part of the mountain. Holy moly! I was hiding behind a bush and I saw this little girly in red clothing running into the distance, leaving a trail of destruction in her wake. <sighs> but I don't know if anyone will believe me. Hmm. Now that you mention it, the idea of a tiny little girl wielding that much destructive power is a little far-fetched you want to know what i think i think she has a treasure nobody else knows about 
Maybe even yep. the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. Did you say treasure? Did Paimon imagine that, or did you hear it too? It's just a guess. I mean, thank you, amigo. Ah, I am so happy to meet a true amigo. Who would have thought? <laughs> so, this girl, what's her name? Ah, uh, I... I'm gonna stop I do not know her hands. Name. Uh, I do not see her often in Mondstadt. Hey, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. I swear they Doesn't don't smell like a spell on, me go right. But thanks for your intel. We'll be really annoying. Discuss I finding was right about one thing. If everyone's got their own opinion and can't be persuaded, how are we ever gonna find out who Mondstadt's strongest fighter is? Well, then I'm gonna just go Eureka, against the entire thing. Got it. Let's go see what Jean says. Bet the Knights have got an official ranking table for this kind of thing. Guess it depends if they counted all your shenanigans or not. <laughs> Don't worry, though. Paimon has full confidence in your abilities. Alright, I just remembered I played um, a bit of Minecraft before. Only a little bit. I have... Literally. Um, it's only Bedrock Edition, because I don't have Java. But... Um, I got to the Nether completely, um... What is it? I got all the pearls, and now I was going to go get the Blaze Rods, and then, and then I noticed it was, um... <laughs> Seven o'clock, um, about six forty-seven, and I was like, "Oh crud! Better get going." And then I had to, and then I started streaming. Cause I start at seven every day. Hmm. Oh, Mister Dean! Sorry to bother you. We're collecting intel on the strongest. In Mondstadt. Do you have uh one of those official Knights of Favonius verified ranking oh, table thingies? Strongest fighter in Mondstadt? I wanna offer to make the chair. Huh. So, uh, I am oh, sorry, but I cannot help. <laughs> I do not have any relevant documentation on that topic. Oh, well that sucks. Paimon was hoping she would at least make the top five. <laughs> well, although I do not have the data to make such an assessment, I will say that my faith in our honorary knight's abilities has never wavered. I already have that. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm currently using, by the way. I think that's what I'm actually currently using. Which reminds me, recently one of the Abyss Order's mages has been active near the city, although he is keeping a low profile. If you are staying around Mondstadt, please be on the lookout for danger. Given your, well, high-ranking fighting strength, I trust you will be able to help keep the area safe. Awesome! After she beats the Abyss Down. Order, she'll climb up that ranking table faster than she climbs up all those cliffs! Well, either way, smashing the Abyss Order to bits is the right thing to do. <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. It is infectious. But be careful out there. Yeah, I think yeah, we have it. I think I'm already using that. Thank you, anyway. Destructive force power in all of knowing. Huh? Oh. So. Uh, I, I'm fine. I'm not hurt. Sorry for bumping into you. Hey, look. There's an inside city wall. Ground. Speed. 
Explosion City Wall. In explosion inside City Wall, grounded by thy wall explosions, can hurt people. Gene can be dreadful. Monsplat be bombed. Klee be doomed. Some writing on here. Explosion inside City Wall, grounded be thy wall. Explosions can hurt people. Gene can be dreadful. Monstad be bombed. Klee be doomed. Yikes! Mr. Kaya wrote these down for me. Um, they're, um, survival rules. Survival rules? Y yeah. Rules that I must absolutely never break under any circumstances. Otherwise, something terrible would happen. Yep. Ah, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Klee. Okay. I've heard all about you guys. You're the honorary knight who helps Mondstadt. Wow! Mm -hmm. More recognition! Yay! Paimon is so happy right now. I heard it from Amber. But wait, no! There's no time for this right now. I'm dealing with a big emergency. I grabbed my map and ran as fast as I could all the way here. The, the treasure I buried in the Whispering Woods. It's gone. Did you say? Buried treasure? Exactly what Paimon was thinking! Lost treasure is a big deal. Let us help you find it! Yay! Thanks, you guys! Here! Here's where the map says the treasure should be. I put a circle around it. <laughs> I also put a wooden sign in the ground at the place where I buried it, to make it easier to find. Paimon is starting to understand how this treasure went missing so easily. Come on, Miss Honorary Knight! Let's go! I know exactly where it is buried. I didn't even look at the map. Exactly where it is. Right now, I believe. seem really busy recently. So Klee must not disturb them. But now Klee has new friends. I never thought I'd have a new big sister to help me. <laughs> We're here. This is the place. Look, this is where my huge treasure was buried. Okay, I'll be right back, everyone. I need to go to the loo. Sorry about that.
I have returned. Sorry, it took so long. I had to put a child to sleep. Meaning I had to put a baby to bed. And change them. Sorry about that. And where there's now a huge empty hole in the ground. It's an abyss mage! Hey, what's that in his hand? <gasps> My treasure! What? Mm. I see the little girl has brought her friends with her. Time for a change of plan. Uh, okay. Hey, you! If you think you're so tough, get back here and fight! What's an abyss mage? I play in the forest all the time, but I've never seen... La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. La la la. You trick. We're here. Look. And where there's now a huge empty hole in the gr It's... What's that? <gasps> My... What? Mm. I see the little girl is bright. Hey, you! If you think... What's an abyss mage? I play in the forest all the time, but I've never seen one before. He looks so... Game's up! Now hand it over! Oh, you fools think I would give this up so easily after what I've been through to acquire it? <laughs> I didn't even realize this, but... <laughs> Sorry, pal! How high is this wall? This hot wall is not high at all. Yeah, skyward. Careful, Klee. Don't be drawn in by it. A best mages are the bad guys. Oh, that's right. Grandmaster Jean says that stealing is wrong. Freeze! <laughs> that girl's lucky she didn't come alone. Otherwise, I... <laughs> Just get him to give it back. Where'd he go? The Abyss Mage. He just disappeared. What's going on? That one? Is there a second one? Tell you. make it up there, right? Skyward! <laughs> 
Maybe if I could make it on this. I can. I might be able to. Oh, that's up. What? What? Huh? More.
gonna do? <laughs> oh, the human proclivity to gossip has provided us with everything we need. We learn that your little red friend had in her possession the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. That treasure is now in my hands. There is nothing you can do. Now your precious treasure shall be your undoing. No, no, wait, don't touch it. <laughs> oh, how you fret now. Your predicament is finally clear to you. Now, what have we here? A flame symbol? <laughs> Dead. No! I broke the survival rules. Explosions can hurt people. Gene can be dreadful. This is it. This time I'm done for. Damn. Uh, wait. So Klee's treasure is a bomb? No wonder Klee was rumored to be the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Paimon, for one, is never picking a fight with her. And hold on. Why is she gone and run off? Seems like it. Well then, let's head to the Knight's headquarters and report to Jean. Let's get back to Mondstadt, shall we? me you said someone was injured where are they why is that but but mr fluffball was only a thief he didn't deserve to blow up hey come on now paimon already told you that the abyss mages are the bad guys and actually they're the worst kind of bad guys you can imagine they don't just hate the good guys they hate all people their enemy is humanity itself. Mr. Fluffball was a bad guy on purpose? What? What? I don't get it. This was an oversight on my part. I did not tell you these things before because you are still young. In fact, the Abyss Order is a hostile force in Mondstadt, which has been unusually active lately. Aha! That's it! Paimon understands now! They were tracking down poor Klee because they heard rumors about her treasure. Just like the way Paimon's first reaction was to try and get her hands on... Uh, no. To try and get the facts on the treasure. So, does that mean... In light of your contribution on this matter, I will allow you to take part in the next Ludi Harpastum. Ludi Harpastum? Whoa! Miss Honorary Knight, you've gotta come too. Whoop-dee-doo! It's a happy ending! Except... Except what? Klee, where did you hide the treasure to begin with? Uh, I... Uh... Were you trying to blow up the fish in Starfell Lake again? I wasn't! I swear I wasn't! 
Uh, she's giving us that look that means play along. Clee? I'll see myself to solitary confinement. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Paimon bets Klee must get bored in there all by herself. Guess who? That's Paimon's voice I hear. I can't. Anyway, while I'm grounded, I'm making an extra special new treasure. The Ludi Harpastum version. Yeah. Um, when you say treasure... <laughs> I made it into the shape of a Harpastum and everything. It looks so cute. Just wait for Ludi Harpastum. <laughs> oh yeah, they're gonna love it. Yeesh, if Jean was listening to this... Yeah. She might find herself grounded for an awful lot longer. Act one complete. I'll be more careful next time. Next time, I'll complete a big heroic adventure all by myself, and I'll do it safely. I've heard that the Adventures Guild has its own set of rules. I wonder if I could get them to... Yeesh! If Cyrus was listening to this, he would be begging Jean to extend Klee's sentence. John. Okay. I can do that one now. Seriously? Yeah. Whoa, that covered a lot of distance. Oh, it's you! Over here, over here! Whoa. It's Sarah from the Good Hunter! Oh, finally, I caught you! I have something I'd like the Knights of Fabonius to do for me, and I want you to pass on my request to the Acting Grand Master. Oh, so it's Jean you were really hoping to see. You are close with her. Slave? Yes. I never yes. knew that such antiquated and aristocratic practices existed <laughs> in the Knights of Fabonius. <laughs> Sorry, the Traveler just has a weird sense of humor. Yes. Anyway, what was it you wanted us to tell Jean? Oh, yes. I must apologize for being unable to visit the Knights in person, but the restaurant has been so busy lately. Unfortunately, it's right in this busy season that the route between here and Springvale, which is used for the delivery of our ingredients, seems to have been occupied by the Hillichurls. The problem is that the suppliers in Springvale say that deliveries have nothing to do with them. They're just responsible for selling us the ingredients. <sighs> that would be great. Please, ask Master Jean to send a party to clear out the hilly churls from the road to spring. Oh, <sighs> help at last. With Jean on the case, this will be solved in no time. Seems like everyone really trusts Jean. Oh, I nearly forgot. Charles the bartender said he's been having some trouble too. Why don't you stop by and see him on the way? Fine. In for a penny, in for a pound is the Paimon way. But this is really stretching the definition of on the way, in my opinion. Master's Dale. On the... Oh. oh yeah. Skyward! Scatter! What's up? What do you think this is, kiddo? 
A fruit juice store? <sighs> How rude! Especially since we're here to help! Help? Oh, yes! You're the acting Grandmaster's new hotshot helper, aren't you? Uh, that's one way of putting it, but... Great! Tell Jean I need my quarterly tax return forms, then. It's time to get Elzer on to doing the accounts again. I must say, though, the tax rate on alcohol in Mondstadt is pretty steep. Acting Grandmaster Jean personally goes over all the accounts. After all, the wine industry is Mondstadt's main source of income. Jean takes great pains to make sure no detail is overlooked. Hyman never knew that. Jean's job is even harder than it seems. The acting Grandmaster's hard work indeed makes our lives a whole lot easier. We're certainly very lucky, but to put it bluntly, we just take it for granted that that's the norm now. Wow. How do you sleep at night knowing how much pressure you put Jean under? <sighs> when you put it like that, I do feel quite ashamed. I suppose I should give her one on the house next time she's here. Although, I doubt the acting Grand Master even has the time to spare for that. Sounds like a poor excuse to deny Jean a free drink. Come on, let's go and see Jean. Is it there? Mm -hmm. Skyward! Scatter! Hey, Hello. you two! Margaret? What are you doing here? My cat's gone missing. Have you seen it? No, not her. I imagine Diona's probably still in the tavern. I mean, little Princey. Prince was just home, now he's gone. Did you seriously think Diona was a house cat? <sighs> this is a bit worrying. What if Prince can't find his way home? Nah, you're always such a big softy. But aren't we in the middle of something? Sarah and Charles need our help urgently, too. Let's go and see Jean first. You're on the way to see Jean? What a coincidence. Paimon thought you were looking for a cat. Yes, I wanted to see if Jean could help look for my cat. Seriously? You want Jean to help look for your cat? What's wrong with that? Jean's a really nice person. Please mention it to Jean for me. I'll treat you to a brew at Cat's Tail later. Hey! 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 Ugh, unbelievable! Guess the case of Prince the Missing Cat is now added to the agenda for our meeting with Jean! <clears throat> uh, acting Grandmaster? Uh. Oh, uh, Master Jean? Oh. oh, it's our honorary night. Sorry, I must have been daydreaming. How can I assist? Actually, it's not us who need your help. It's a bunch of other people. I see. Well, thank you for your service to the people of Mondstadt. <coughs> I have made a note of these commissions in my files, and I will <coughs> make arrangements accordingly. Great! We didn't miss out on anyone's commissions, did we? Sarah's hilly churls, Charles' tax return, Margaret's cat. Seems that's everything. We'll be on our way then, Jean. Jean, are you okay? New brain horse. Cop a doll in search of assistance. Or how do we bring her? How's Jean holding up? Is it serious? It's just burnout from work stress. She'll be fine after a good old rest. Thanks for bringing her here. She may have tried to keep soldiering on otherwise. It's not a surprise, though. She does have a lot to get through every day. Poor Jean. 
She's always been one to push herself too hard while overlooking her own needs. This isn't the first time something like this has happened. Oh, uh, you think so? I, I, I mean, she's the acting grandmaster and all. We can't have her collapsing all the time now, can we? So, so, you know, it's not like this is a personal thing. It's just out of love for oh, concern for the greater good. Yes, that's it. What's up with Barbara? Huh. Weird. Anyway, you're an honorary knight, aren't you? While the master is down, the knights should share her burden, no? That's a very good point, but shouldn't one of the fully qualified knights do that? Jean has so much to do. An extra pair of hands can't hurt. You should go and check in at the headquarters. Jean will be fine with just me here. Paimon feels like she's trying to get rid of us. Why is that? Nothing. We'll leave you to it. Come on, let's go. Okay. Sure, I can't just enter here now. I've been waiting for you. I have been informed about Jean falling ill. On behalf of all of the Knights of Favonius, allow me to express my sincere gratitude for your assistance. So courteous no and polite. This isn't the Kaya Paimon knows. <laughs> <laughs> well, the circumstances warrant it. This is the acting Grand Master herself we're talking about now. In addition to that thank you message, it's like you read my mind. We have quite a connection, don't you think? Things like helping to fill in for Jean? Right. Although the commissions you reported to Jean have already been handed off to someone else, I am concerned that they will not be handled with due care without Jean's personal touch. So I am hoping that you can help out where you see fit. I will feel much more at ease knowing that the honorary knight is personally overseeing these cases. You can flatter sure. us all you want, but answer me this. Why don't you do it? <laughs> oh, I have far more important matters to attend to. There are so many things to... to prepare. <sighs> Fine, then. So it's Sarah, Charles, and Margaret's stuff you want us to help with, right? Those are the ones. I appreciate the help. See you... I need to click that. Get back to you fucking freaking child. What's up? Oh, Venti, hello. So, yours is the cat that went missing. Venti, have you come to help? Me here to help you? Why, on the contrary, it is I who needs the helping. But what? Paimon just saw you talking to Margaret about Prince. Aha! Uh -huh. So, Prince is the name of the feline fiend who thieved my spare astral iron strings. Though it gladdens my heart to see that the free-spirited ethos of Mondstadt is alive and well in creatures great and small. Still, it's a bit audacious. <laughs> Prince is a mischievous little rascal, all right. Indeed. Just like Barbados. <laughs> yes, quite. Mm. Quite. <clears throat> now, let's see about getting ourselves an audience with His Little Highness Prince Rascal of Mondstadt. I have a performance tonight, and without my spare strings, I shall have to disappoint my audience. What would a kitty cat want with liar strings anyway? Everyone knows cats go crazy for a ball of string. What? These lyre strings are made of astral iron, which contains animo energy. 
That makes them extremely durable, so I normally just roll them up in a ball to make them easier to carry. That's a trick of the trade from a traveling bard. The strings contain animal energy? That'll help us! It's time for you to use your elemental sight again. I'm unsure there must be some elemental f- Thank you all. Prince should be somewhere around the marketplace or the residential area. It's a black cat you're looking for. Uh, oh, take this fish. It's Little Prince's favorite food. Maybe it'll help you find him. Let's go. I didn't get to use my other characters. Uh, what? See him flip. <gasps> Prince, where did you go running off to? Oh, thank goodness you're safe. We definitely had our work cut out for us looking for him. Oh, Princey, how could you leave me like? Looks like those two need some time to themselves. And here are your astral iron strings, Venti. You found them! <laughs> Wonderful! I was not optimistic. I dare say that a private performance played using these very same strings would not be an excessive way to show my gratitude. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, <coughs> Apologies. <laughs> At this distance, my cat allergy seems to be rearing its head. Oh, now Paimon gets why you didn't go looking for your strings by yourself? <laughs> Anyway, thanks for the help. I'll be going now. Uh, 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 uh. Let's get help with this one over here. Yeah, Skyward, scatter. Lisa, the sus one. Lisa, are you here about the tax return? Oh, hello, darling. You're quite right. After I heard about poor Jean, I thought I might lend a hand with some of her more literary duties. Cool! Well, if we're no longer needed here, we'll be on our way. Wait a moment. Actually, Charles here was wondering... Please, allow me, ma'am. I just took a rather important order. But unfortunately, we've run completely dry, and the delivery from the winery is behind schedule. If it's not too much trouble... Could you go and do something about this logistical nuisance? What's so urgent about this order? <sighs> it came in at the last minute. Literally just a few seconds ago. Exactly. Hence the urgency. <laughs> I'm positive that next time my boss, Master D. Luke, is here, he'll pick up the tab for you. Sounds about right. Get a free drink, why not? Have you come to rescue me? 
I've been waiting long enough. And all the time I've been working at the winery, this is the first time I've been robbed by hilly churls. If you'd taken any longer, I don't know what I would have done. Fear not! My friend here is a hilly churl exterminator extraordinaire! Just as well. Then, please, escort this transporter to the end of the road. And be careful with it. Uh, just beating up the hilly churls is not the aim here. You'd better make sure the goods stay intact, because I certainly don't have the mora to replace them. I'll be waiting up ahead. Skyward! Looks like you could have run over the entire time. Did I bug something? <laughs> nope, certainly did not. You, my friend. I thought I was in deep trouble this time. It's a good thing you showed up. I'll put in a good word for you with the gentleman at the winery. Right I'll set off right away. Amber, are you here to help out with Jean's commission? Oh, hi. Yeah, I was just getting ready. Who better than an outrider to mop up some hilly churls on the delivery route? Oh. Sarah, what are you still stressing about? I'm an outrider, and I won't disappoint. You misunderstand me. I don't doubt your abilities. I'm just overwhelmed at the number of orders piling up in front of me. Another bizarre order came in just now. It's like they're hosting a banquet or something. 
<clears throat> really? You don't mind helping? Oh, that would be wonderful! You really are the good hunter's guardian angel. Yeah, well, those hilly trolls are going to be a handful, too. Well, why don't you take this order? Start by getting the ingredients. Are you sure she can be trusted? It might end up tasting a bit funky. We're well past the point of aiming for perfection. This is now a fight to save the good hunter's business. A fight? <sighs> for this dish, we need three sweet flowers and three fowls. Okay, go and get ready. You too, Amber. I'll be waiting here. Oh, yes, okay. Right. Have you brought me three sweet flowers? And Definitely, I don't know. Yep, that's everything. Now, order number seven is for one sweet madame. And so begins the story of us becoming basic kitchen hands. You did say you'd help Good Hunter out. Be sure to serve it while it's hot. Any news on that sweet madame? One sweet madame received. Mmm, this smells absolutely divine. This is nothing less than what I would expect from a head chef, never mind a sous chef. Hmm, since you cook so well, you might as well take this sticky honey roast next. Sticky honey roast? I'm sure she's heard Amber and Kaya mention this one before. That's right. A mainstay of the Good Hunter menu. It's my pride and joy. The knights order it almost every time they come here for a gathering. Let me teach you the recipe for a sticky honey roast. Wait, didn't you say it's your pride and joy? You're going to teach us how to make it? Just like that? With your cooking skills, I don't think you will be doing a disservice to the Good Hunter brand. <laughs> as soon as that sticky honey roast is ready, please bring it here. Today's recommendation is this dish. I'm still waiting on one sticky hun- This is... Wow! Did you really cook this? This is quite simply astonishing! You were born to be a head chef. Are we released from kitchen duty now? Yes, thanks ever so much for your help. Amber should be able to take care of everything. If you ever get tired of being an adventurer, there'll be a job waiting for you at Good Hunter if you want it. Yay, looks like our yeah, job's secure. I think we're finally finished with the commissions we were doing for Jean. A day in the life of Jean really is hard work. Wonder how she's feeling now. Let's head to the cathedral and pay her a visit. Aw, didn't let me go up as much as I wanted it to. Exhausted. Jean has regained consciousness and should be back to her normal self soon enough. That's great news! Let's go and see her! 
but she just left the cathedral. I tried to tell her she needs more rest, but she wouldn't listen. She tried to act like she was fine and kept saying she wanted to get some fresh air. I bet you she's gone to Lady Vanessa's place again. Where? Oh, that huge tree at Windrise? That place is dedicated to Mondstadt's hero, Vanessa. Jean goes there whenever she feels lost and confused deep down inside. Barbara, that's some pretty personal stuff. How do you know so much about Jean's innermost thought? Jean, uh, mentioned it to me, you know, before she left. That's what I'm worried about, too. But I still have work to do here. Don't worry, we'll take over nursing duty for now. Great. That puts my mind at rest. May the Animal Archon protect you. Lady Vanessa, I hope your watch over Mondstadt remains unclouded. I do not know if I or the rest of the world, as you had hoped for, have become stronger. The tear. Hi, Jean. Are you feeling better now? Much better. I was not expecting you to come here. Thank you for your concern. Are you sure? We saw you beneath the tree just now, leaning on your sword. It looked like you were struggling. Are you sure you aren't pushing yourself too hard? Oh, thank you. That means a lot to me. Hearing that boosts my spirits. But I must find a way to cope with minor setbacks like this on my own. Otherwise, how can I be the protector that Mondstadt needs me to be? <sighs> the protector that Vanessa was. You truly revere Vanessa, huh? <sighs> I do. Vanessa was the first Grandmaster. A kind yet formidable woman. I have always hoped to follow in her footsteps. As the Lion Fang Knight, she courageously overthrew the oppressive ruling aristocracy of her time. Then, she founded the Knights of Havonius and became known as the Dandelion Knight. Dandelion Knight? Isn't that your title? Hmm. Actually, all of the Knights of Favonius Masters throughout the ages have inherited the title of Dandelion Knight or Lion Fang Knight. Oh, that makes sense now. You too want to be as gentle as the Dandelion Knight, and yet as fierce as the Lion Fang. Yes, I know it sounds like a huge honor inheriting both these titles from Vanessa, but I see it more as a huge responsibility. After all, it is a lot to live up to. Paimon thinks so too. Huh? Jean? Who's there? <laughs> Caught red-handed. Finally, an opportunity comes to get rid of the master in a moment of weakness. And then you two show up and ruin everything. How did they know about Jean's condition? Choosing this moment to strike is a low blow, even for this lot. As long as my name is the Dandelion Knight, I swear I shall not be defeated by such despicable means. <clears throat> Since this opportunity has slipped away, I shall now be slipped. Stop! <coughs> After him! Jean, you're still recovering. No, I must go after him. <sighs> Jean. You can't keep doing this to yourself. Why can't you trust us to handle it? Uh, I do trust you, but to let an enemy get away like this would be a major dereliction of duty. Fine, but at least let us go with you. Uh, thank you for your understanding. I will graciously accept your help.
that way. Are you at oh, how badly are you hurt? Oh, one of my own being injured because of me is the last thing I would wish for. Let me handle this alone. No, you are in no state to handle this alone. We're coming too. Okay, but before we move out, at least let me heal everyone with my dandelion breeze. Thanks! You're amazing! Wait, does this completely fail the mission? Wait for that. Well, no. See if I'm able to go over it. Because if I'm able to go over it, that'd be quite funny. Because I'm not supposed to. Are you hurt? Oh, one of my own being. Let me have. No, you. <sighs> okay, but before we move out, it. Thanks. tried it last time. Yeah. <laughs> 
my turn. Be gone. Barbara's help, my condition is better than I thought. The main thing is that you're safe. Now, isn't it time to get back to Mondstadt and rest, Acting Grandmaster? Yes, I should at least go and thank Barbara again. Master, you finally returned. The Animo Archon protects you. Swan, were you waiting for me? Has something happened? Yes, at the Angel's share. Uh, don't worry, it's nothing big, but... Um, okay, I know I said it's nothing big, but... All right, how can I put this? Uh, they just really need the acting Grand Master. Huh? Well, if you say so, Swan, I will go. I should not let the other knights down. It's fine. Now that I have had the chance to stretch my legs, I feel much better. Oh, great. Thank you so much. You really saved me on this one. For goodness sake, what is happening to the world? Swan used to be the most honest fellow. Now he's dumping things onto Jean. Well, Swan was clearly agitated. Maybe it is an emergency after all. Let's go and see what this is all about, shall we? No. I'll make it that full high. Or she. Is it Mr. Fastest Ray then? Jules from Liyue. Come take a look. If I take a bad guy, I am. party for you a thank you party Jean when we heard the news about your illness we were all so worried about you we can only imagine how much pressure you must be under as acting Grand Master and you do so much work all over Mondstadt we thought that since you so rarely take any time off we take this chance to throw you a party enjoy yourself Jean after all you'll never let us do this once you're back at work <laughs> Uh. Jean? I... Uh... Huh? Is this Jean when she's... shy? I've never seen her like this. It's easy to forget that outside of work, Jean is just a normal person, like anyone else. I... Uh, this is just all such a surprise. 
Thank you, everyone. This really means so much to me. <laughs> well, it's nothing compared to the amount of work you do for all of us, day in and day out. But there are so many things I still need to do. <sighs> Fear not. We wanted to make sure you could relax and enjoy yourself. So while you were away, we all pitched in and finished off your work for you. Every... Did you really? Even the issue with the food deliveries? It was no different from what we see on patrol. A couple of hilly churls. Didn't take much to get rid of them. And the tax returns? I spent so much time doing library admin. A few more pieces of paper to deal with was really nothing to worry about. Well, what about Margaret's missing cat? Are you kidding me? That rascally prince was apprehended by the brilliant honorary knight. And he also reclaimed my precious astral iron strings while he was at it. Enough already. No more thinking about work today. Enjoy yourself while you've got the chance. It is my honor to work alongside you all. Praise be for the Animo Archon's guidance. Speaking of work, it must have been hard work to put all this together. Where did you find the time? <laughs> Actually, our friend here was the key organizer behind all of this. See all of this food and drink? He made sure it all arrived on time. Not only that, but Gee, he cooked each sheep. one of these beautiful dishes himself. So relax already. There's no need to be so modest. I just realized they're saying he instead of she. They didn't have enough time to voice act. Like, oh, you. Of course, we also have Master Diluc to thank for the venue. Otherwise, we would be looking at quite an alarming bill right about now. <sighs> Despite my initial reluctance to sponsor a Knights of Favonius event in any way, I, like any other citizen of Mondstadt, owe Jean my gratitude for her hard work. Oh, Master Diluc, I... All right, all right. Jean's supposed to be taking it easy. Stop crowding her. Agreed. Now, let the party begin! Yay. It looks like everyone seems to be partying hard. Paimon thinks we should join in the fun. Let's go and mingle. Oh, and Paimon thinks she saw Jean go upstairs by herself. Oh, it is you. Yes, I am just getting some air. Uh-oh, it seems like something's bothering Jean. I want to thank you again. Either way, it is good to be here together with everyone. It has lifted my spirits, and it has taught me something. What's that? I am definitely more of a dandelion knight than a lion fang knight. The lion fang knight represents Vanessa's past, a past in which she fought hard for Mondstadt. But it was the dandelion knight that represented her hopes for the future, a future belonging to the newly formed Knights of Favonius. I do believe that Vanessa watches over us, whether from high up above or from the wind all around us. Let the wind lead, the winds of freedom will guide us along the path that lies ahead. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, we shall do this one. But we shall wonder what you do. I don't know how to make that. Here we are. And finally go do this. Nearing the end of the stream. Yeah. 
More ruin guards and abyss mages. Dane was just saying how these ancient machines are from Conria. Hmm. So, did Conria have a lot of ruins that needed to be guarded? No. Ruin guard is the name modern people have given these machines. No one called them that 500 years ago. These ruin guards were known as field tillers by the people of Conria. Field tillers? What a strange name. It's not like you think. Field Tiller was just a code name. The people of Kanria like to give code names to. The land is not to be tilled with farming tools, but rather is to be fought for with steel and blood. This is how the Field Tiller came about. Fought for with steel and blood? Well, that's an interesting way of understanding tilling. Uh, Paimon doesn't think it's a very positive interpretation. <laughs> After the destruction of Kanria, these masterless field tillers went completely out of control. They wandered aimlessly over the centuries, gradually spreading to every corner of Tevat, perhaps resonating with the sorrow of other civilizations lost to time. They found their way to various ruins across the land, where they lie dormant. Well, that sounds... so sad. Once you understand more, those details won't mean much to you. But no matter their past, all that remains of them now is the danger they pose. So destroy them all. This talisman seems connected to the Abyss Herald. Oh, yeah. But why would an Abyss Mage be carrying it? Perhaps it really does contain information about their operation. But Paimon can't read the writing on it. Oh, is that the script of Conria? Engulf the faith of the enemy in flame and bring glory to his highness the prince. What? Is that what it says? Gansleaf missions make it so we discover more about the brother. Fate, initial operation. They, the Abyss, seem to be carrying out a large operation. The key word here is Loom of Fate. It seems like they are still launching the operation, Ooh. or rather, are still yes. conducting preliminary tests. Loom of Fate? What's that? Is it literally a fate weaving machine? From the horrible feeling Paimon's been getting, those eerie ruins are super likely to be related to this fate-weaving operation. So, Dane, what message does this talisman contain? I'm reading it now. Hmm. 
an ambitious operation. But some parts are difficult to understand. How so? In short, the first phase of the plan is related to Osile, Overlord of the Vortex. The Overlord of the Vortex? You mean that god in the ocean? What do they want with Osile? I know of your past heroics regarding Dvalin, and I also know of the Abyss Order's role in the Storm Terror incident. Mm -hmm. Though you may not have been aware of it at the time, you were thwarting an Abyss Order operation similar to this one. Last time it was Venti's old friend. This time it's a huge ancient god. The Abyss Order keeps setting their sights higher and higher. Will the Abyss Order use their lies and dark magic to corrupt Osile, just as they did to Valen? No. From the contents of the Talisman, this operation goes one step further. They won't just corrupt Osile's mind. They also plan to use the ancient technology behind the Field Tillers to completely transform Osile's body. Whoa. Is that even possible? So wait, the Abyss Order wants to make some sort of cybernetic squid god of mass destruction? Very few people today truly understand the civilization of Kanria. Though of course, the accuracy of that understanding itself is difficult to judge. Only the Abyss Order has consistently sought out the remnants of Kanria. Despite being far from human, they seek out this lost human civilization quite persistently. The Talisman's message states that they will use the defiled statue as a base, attaching Osile's limbs to construct a mechanized god, and the new core that shall replace the orb usually held by the Statue of the Seven is the eye of the very first field tiller. The Ooh. eye of the very first field tiller? <sighs> oh, Paimon gets it! All those oh, abyss mages are looking for the special coming. eye, right? It would seem so. This whole thing keeps getting more complicated. But basically, it all has to do with that eerie statue of the Seven we saw. Yes. According to the talisman, the eye should be placed in the hands of the defiled statue, thereby imbuing the newly born god with the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Oh boy, the Abyss Order sure isn't holding back with this plan. Hmm. Since no one knows where the first field tiller is, how about we take the information about the statue as the starting point for our investigation? Yeah, that tone-deaf bard is too difficult to track down anyway. Let's go to the cathedral first and ask around. Maybe we'll learn something. The cathedral? Hmm. Huh? What's the matter, Dane? Nothing. Let's get moving. Searing at the gods' power. Oh. Right. Oh, yes. Are we able to skip one every four? Nice. And this. Wait. I've reached a barrier. Can ascend? Go to Ascension Quest! Yes, 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 yes! And we get three keys? I know exactly where to put them. Oh no! Let's go ascend. Let's ascend. Let's ascend. Let's ascend. Let's ascend. Let's ascend. Let's ascend. 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 Clear the ruins. Oh, that looks so nice. Hmm. Resistance. Okay. Hmm. It's not lower than recommended. I can tell you that for sure. 
one of my characters are, but the rest of them are not. I believe I could just... Skyward! Scatter! Do that. But nah, let's do this legitimate Skyward. one. Collecting the loot. Did you just try and? Domain. Could I have like jump in here? No, but still tight. Did that pretty fast. 
Oh, I'm able to upgrade my characters again. <laughs> mm hmm. I'll get them through the yeah, adventure and rewards. I can send you again. Yeah, I need a lot. And you. Just a couple of the Emperor. <laughs> And a lot more of them in them, I guess. Oh, I must do a long, long, long one tomorrow. Like, tomorrow, I, I'll definitely just be leveling up characters. That's all I want to be doing. Level up characters. And that's all that's gonna happen. I'm gonna level up me characters, and then, um... Bro. A huge statue, a grandiose cathedral. The people of Mondstadt clearly spent a great deal of resources and energy to construct them. But how aware of this was the animal Archon on receiving this gift? And how much did he give back in return? It doesn't ask for anything in return, though, does it? <laughs> As long as the gods have a clear conscience about it all, there's nothing I can say about it. Shh! We're about to enter the cathedral! Don't say anything bad about the Animal Archon! And actually, the Animal Archon is... Ugh, never mind! <laughs> I never specifically said I would enter the cathedral. I'll leave you two to mingle with the sisters. You are the Honorary Knight of Mondstadt. They will surely allow you to poke into these affairs with their utmost trust. Having me tag along would only make them suspicious. Correct. And just as our little friend said, I might say something bad about the church at any time. When a non-believer steps onto holy ground, the result is never pretty. I have never received the favor of the gods in the past, I don't see any reason I would need it now, or that's enough about that. While we've been chit-chatting, the Abyss Order continues to act. Okay, then we'll just go in ourselves and ask around. I should warn you about one thing. Don't go mentioning the defiled statue inside the cathedral. The Church of Favonius wouldn't ignore the matter of the statue. But if they rashly tried anything against the Abyss Order, it would only ruin whatever element of surprise we may have. Also, meddling in the affairs of the Abyss usually doesn't end well for anyone. Well, that's good to know. Skyward. Let's go! Whoa, that was a very good one. Of trap, I'll just like... Oh, that What's up, sister? How have you been? Do you need anything today? Yes. Uh, but I should first make it clear that if you need to borrow the Holy Lyre to Hermel again, we cannot oblige. <laughs> it seems she hasn't realized it's just an illusion. Oh, we're here to ask some questions about some... Hmm. What's that? Field tiller. What does it do? Uh, of course you wouldn't know anything about that! <laughs> okay, next question. Has the church ever lost a statue of the Seven? Huh? Huh? You're here to ask about that old story? Oh. Well, I didn't expect that. That was such a long time ago, barely anyone mentions it nowadays. A long time ago, there was indeed one statue of the Seven that disappeared one night without a trace. Nearly every member of the church joined the search for it, but it was never found. In the church's records, as you might assume, this incident has been called the Lost Statue of the Seven. Hmm, of course! Of course? Uh, nothing? So do you have any other clues? Uh, uh, Paimon means any other strange stories? <laughs> Sorry, Barbara, but we can't tell you about the statue we saw just yet. Like Dane said outside, it's for your own good. Other strange stories? Oh, no. 
not sure. Let me think about what other unusual incidents are in the church's records. Mm. Oh, the tyrant's final fury? Mm, no, that's from another time. Probably unrelated. The tyrant's final fury? Oh, this refers to a time of great danger that engulfed old Mondstadt, the place now known as Storm Terror's lair. Many, many oh, years ago, there was a time when balls of fire would rain from the sky whenever anyone approached old Mondstadt. Mm. Balls no. of fire raining from the sky? How terrifying! Those are the missiles. Those are the, the people missiles. People at that time believed it was a curse laid down by the god of storms. So they referred to it as the tyrant's final fury. I know what it is. This yeah. strange phenomenon continued for about a year. No one was ever able to solve it. It just gradually ceased on its own. Right. Later, the theory of the tyrant's final fury became less probable in the eyes of the church. Common reasoning dictates that the god of storms wouldn't shoot fireballs. Perhaps it was something else that caused the disaster. Anyway, this incident might not be related to the lost statue of the seven. <laughs> the, the lighting just went. But I just can't think of any other strange incidents that might be. Just ding. It's okay. Thanks anyway. There's that pointless word, thank you again. I can never get used to hearing it. Oh, Rosaria, it's you. If you're looking for the Knights of Favonius, they're busy with those monsters again. Uh, those monsters? Those monsters that tried to attack Mondstadt last time during the Storm Terror incident? Wasn't that the Abyss Order? They're at it again? Indeed. They're gathering in Wolvendom, causing great unrest Whoa. among the wolves. Could it be that the Abyss Order is targeting the spirit of Lupus Boreas? <sighs> As for what purpose, I can't say for certain. Lady, you need some sleep. Master Jean has already headed off to Wolvendon. I must also begin to make a move myself. Then I will go as well. Master Jean said you should stay at the church and continue your work with the clergy. You need some but sleep. You're also a member of... Right. We'll go give Master Jean a hand. Oh, okay. If the honorary knight will be there, then... But please, everyone, be careful. May the Wait. animal archon protect you all. There's another place that I can think of. Um, somewhere in, um, in Sumeru, I believe, there is a giant field tiller, or ruin guardian, that is literally, that can shoot you. Out of its eye. Could be that. Could be. Whoa. I see. Has the Abyss Order already launched a new operation? This could very well have something to do with the Defiled Statue. We should go as well. But what is the Abyss Order going to Wolvendom for anyway? Are they looking to do the same as they did with Devalin? Uh, not again! No, that's not likely. Unlike Osile, who was just suppressed, Andreas died long ago. Today, it is just his spirit that stands guard over Wolvendom. The Abyss Herald may just be targeting the spirit of Andreas in an attempt to garner some information from one of the Animo Archon's old companions. Well, let's go to Wolvendom. Estimate the enemy. Let's take them now. Still breathing. 
The closer we get to the target, the more enemies there are. <laughs> Fits the Abyss Order's style. Yeah, let's go! I'm... not going any further. Huh? Why not? Is it because you're afraid of fluffy animals? It has nothing to do with wolves. It's because Boreas was an ancient god, yet he willingly became a servant of the Seven. I cannot possibly agree with his actions. I don't desire any interaction with him. <laughs> Besides, you're the one people like. I'm less likable. There's nothing special about gods anyway. It's just my opinion, but a word of advice. Always be on your guard when around gods. You shouldn't place too much trust in them. But at the same time, don't go too far in the opposite direction. Don't go trying to overthrow them or hunt them down, even if the god in question is your sworn enemy. Mm -hmm. Don't trust them and don't hunt them. That's some awkward advice. <laughs> Lest I repeat the failings of my forebears, I will tell you one final fact. Huh? Uh -huh. What fact? The destruction of the nation of Kanria by the gods is the reason the Abyss Order now seeks to destroy the nations watched over by the Seven. Well, enough chit-chat. We should get back to business. I will go take care of the remaining Abyss Order members in the area. Try and keep your visit with Boreas brief. Afterward, let's meet at the entrance to Wolvendom. Mm -hmm. Up, there he goes! Strange man. Yeah, that's true. You also keep your guard up against unfamiliar gods. At the right of dissension in Liyue, your decision was very similar to what Dane would do. Ah, <sighs> not the easiest situation. Honorary Knight, too? Paimon, what are you two doing here? Oh, Master Jean! So glad we found you. Rosaria told us that you came here to fight the Abyss Order, so we came to help. Then your help is greatly appreciated. The Abyss Order's sudden offensive is very strange. They have surrounded Wolvendom. I am preparing to send out some knights to fight back. I just scouted out all of Wolvendom, but I did not see you. Rosaria told me that the Abyss Order is going after Boreas. But the Abyss Order and Boreas... What is the connection between them? They just like to cause trouble. Ah, do they really need a reason? The Abyss Order already went after Devalin. It's not too surprising that they would also go after another one of the Animal Archon's buddies. Hmm, that is true. Regardless, whether the reason behind the present threat is clear or not, I will handle the situation. Honorary Knight, please go and check if Lupus Boreas is in any danger. This god's spirit... He does not often see people, but I hear that you have met him before. Maybe it is yes. best that you are also the one to meet him this time. Okay, be careful. Thank you for your help, Honorary Knight of Favonia. Well, you heard her. Our Let's get going. Man, I just became a torrent. I 
Just need to heal. Don't worry about me. What in the living heck is that? Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 man. The Abyss Herald. You, not welcome here. <laughs> so, the wolf's wretched spirit likes to raise wild pups now. You claim to be a guardian, yet your once sharp claws have clearly dulled since your days of godly glory. If you serve us, we can restore your divine powers you once held in the past. Lies. Lies. What the heck is this ceremony? He looks like he's in a lot of pain. Oh no. Is this the same thing they did to corrupt a Valen's mind? Wolves never surrender. But this can't go on. No matter how many times you resist us, your efforts are all in vain. Let me beat your ass again and then you'll see. Bow before the abyss. Wingblade. Yeah. Stand with me. I'll settle this. Yeah. Got him. Yeah. Make way for the abyss. Mighty mythical beast! Oh, oh. This is when a lot of damage is done. Interrupted. How fortunate for you. How does an old spirit have such determined will? No matter. This is but a small unforeseen variable. Our grand scheme will not be affected. It 
disappeared again. Thank you. You came. Just in time. Human Lupacol. I am ashamed that you must see me in my present state. But still, the Abyss Herald underestimated my strength. Lupus Boreas never refuses trial, but scary outsider, not respect trial rules. I too didn't see the trap. Wait, so you mean the Abyss Order had everything prepared to corrupt Lupus Boreas's mind, then lured him out under the pretense of challenging him in a trial? Thank you. In the future, my claws must get sharper. You smelled danger and came here? No, we no. heard about the danger. Paimon's nose doesn't even know what danger smells like. Besides coming to help, we actually have something to ask you about, too. Ah, uh, excuse us, Mr. Wolf God. Do you know anything about the first field tiller? I pay no heed to the contraptions of humans. I know not what this field tiller is. Though there was indeed one human made machine that I can never forget. It entered into my proving ground by accident, and I mistook it for a challenger. But it could not think, only fight. It was designed as a pure killing machine from top to bottom. I eventually damaged it greatly with one of my attacks. Before it fell to the ground, it fled the proving ground. Hmm. By the sounds of it, it's possible that could have been the very first field tiller, right? Missiles. I do not know this strange word. As I said, I pay no heed to the contraptions of human. It could spin, leap high into the air, and even shoot fireballs. Although no match for a god, it was stronger than even many who wield vision. Fireballs? Hey, didn't we hear this somewhere else recently as well? Anyway, this pretty much proves that the first field tiller came to Mondstadt, doesn't it? It sounds like the first one was way stronger than the mass-produced ruin guards that came after. But in this story, it was damaged at the proving ground while fighting the Wolf of the North. Don't know, but did we help? Yes, you were a big help. We need to keep investigating something super important. The Abyss Herald may have left, but the Abyss's forces are still attacking. You two be careful. Yes, I smell more danger. You two also be careful. Well, that was some good intel. Quick, let's go tell Dane. Oh no. Um. Yes, before we tell Dane. I shall end this video because I've gone a little bit over time. I need to get paid for overtime now. I'm I'm just trying to imitate my brother. Um okay on the right here, um shall oh no, sorry. Whoops. For the people watching on Twitch, thank you so much for watching. Also, thank you so much for the four followers that I gained this video. That was extremely surprising. And if you are still watching, I'd love to see you all here tomorrow. Um, so yeah, and tomorrow we'll do more about the Dane Slift mission and hopefully level up our characters even more. We'll see. And now, for the people watching on you watching this back on YouTube, on the right here is, uh, is going to be my latest video, on the left here is going to be my first video of this series, in the centre here shall be a subscribe button. If you like more videos like this one, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. If you want to see more videos like this one right here, please click that notification bell. I'll see you all next time.